today I'm going to show you how to make a koi fish from start to finish. We're not going to add any color right now. We're just going to work on our outline. So I have a 9 by 12 piece of paper. If you have something larger or smaller, that's fine. But I'm going to start at the bottom of my paper and work my way to the top. And I want to make sure that I can get his head and his tail fin on my paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with his mouth. So what I'm going to make is I'm going to make kind of parentheses, but I want them to be longer, and I also want them to be more on the straight side. I'm going to start off with the parentheses shape. This shows the sides of his face. So I'm going to start off with the parentheses to show the sides of his face. I'm going to go over these again, just so that way they're darker so you can see it better. Okay? At the bottom of my parentheses, I'm going to make what resembles a letter C shape. Start off with my letter C. This is going to help me make his mouth. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a curved line, just a gentle curved line to connect the bottom of each of those C's. Then I will make another curved line, almost like I'm making an almond or a football shape, to make the bottom lip of his mouth. So now I'm going to add a little more details to make it look more like a lip. Or lips. So now I'm going to add a second line on the inside to make kind of his bottom lip. And then from the top of this letter C, this is my right hand side because I'm a right handed person. So from here I'm going to add a little bit of a curved line. I'm not going to go clear over to the other side with the curve, but I'm going to add the curve. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to his eyes. Because remember, this is his face, so I have his lips, and I have his mouth. So now what I want to do is I want to add his eye. So I'm going to start with a curved line again. I'm going to make one of his eyes. So I'm going to start off with the curved line, kind of making his eye lid. Then what I will do is I will make a circle in there to show his eyeball. This is a fish, but their eyes are just the same as a human eye. So now I'm going to make the iris, or the colored part of the eye, and then I will make a smaller circle for his pupil. Now, I can also add another smaller circle just to kind of make his eye look like it's shiny when I'm coloring. But for that part, I am done with that eye. Now, this is a fish, and instead of having their eyes sunk in like humans do, because they sit inside the eye sockets, which are recessed into our skull, they sit more on top of the body. So over on the right-hand side, because remember I'm right-handed, I'm going to add another curved line bump. This time, that's to make the second eye. And at this time, I think I made that a little too big, so I'm going to erase it. And I want to make a little bit smaller. There we go. That's more of the same size. So that's to show that his other eye is there. Now, this is a koi fish, but similar to catfish, they have whiskers. So I'm going to draw a whisker. And instead of leaving it just one line, I want to be able to give it a little bit of color. So I'm going to make it a second line just to give it a little bit of width. I'm going to make his second whisker. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay? So... Now I'm basically done with his face. There are a few other little things I'll add, but for the most part I'm done with his face. So I'm going to pull this down slightly. Now I'm going to add these triangle or sideways V-like shapes right here. Okay. To make kind of his, it'll be almost like a neck region, I guess you would say. And then I'm going to make a bigger V so it fills, connects those two. Okay. All right. So basically, I finished off his head. Now, what I want to do is there's a few little more details for his eye. So I'm going to add what kind of looks like an eyebrow to me, but it's more so just this curved line that sits above his eye. It's to make his face not look so flat. And then there's another one just kind of over here. It's a little more on the straight side than that curved one was. 
but it's just to show that he has some, his face isn't completely flat. So now I want to start adding some fins. I'm basically, I'm done with his head. So now I want to start adding some fins. So I'm going to come over to the left hand side, because remember my, I'm right handed. So I'm going to come over to my left, left hand side, where I have this triangle or this sideways V. And I'm going to make a circle around it, because I'm going to make his fin. And I'm going to start making his fin. So my first step is to make a circle. Now what I want to do is I want to draw the top and the bottom of his fin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight up. The bigger I make this, the bigger his fin's going to be. And then I'm going to go over. Almost like I'm making another letter V, kind of. Now, to give this fin a little bit of motion and movement to it, I'm going to take a bumpy line or a scallop line. It's not really a wavy line, but I'm going to take a bumpy line and I'm going to connect these two lines. Okay, from there, I'm going to go from each point of the bump and I'm going to connect it to that circle that I drew just a moment ago. Okay, so that makes his fin. So now what I want to do is I'm going to draw one side of his body. Okay, now depending on how wide I make this, will depend on how big my fish is. So I'm going to come up just a little ways on his fin. Not a great ways, just a little ways. And I'm going to make a longer, I'm going to give a little bit of a curve line. Okay, he is a fish, and they do move a lot, so I'm, it doesn't matter what type of curve line you give it. If it's a gentle curve or a really big curve, I would say a gentle curve would be more realistic but you could give it more of a curve. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to add his fin that's on the back of his body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make basically a letter L shape, but because his back is curved, I'm going to curve the vertical part of my letter L, I'm going to curve it, and then I'm going to make the regular part of my L. Now just like I did for my fin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bumpy line to connect those two parts of my L, my bumpy line to connect them, and then I will just make straight lines to connect to my bump to the side of that L shape. So just like this. Obviously the more little bumps you make, the more little, I guess you could call them segments of the fin there will be. So there's his back fin. Depending on how big you make, your koi fish will kind of depend on how big that back fin needs to be. Now I'm going to come back down here and I'm going to draw his right fin. Okay. So this time I'm going to start off making the bottom part of his fin. So I'm going to bring the line out to show the bottom of his fin. Notice it's almost like connected to his head. Okay. And then I'm going to come up here about here because part of his fin is going to be hidden behind his other part of his body. I'm going to draw a bumpy line to connect to there. I'll also add a little bit of a curved line there. I'm going to connect the L to his head and then I'm going to bring down okay so there's his other fin so now he has his right fin and his left fin they're not very proportional right now let me see what can I do to make him more proportional I think I'm going to add a little bit more to this one To make him more proportional. There we go. What if I bring this L shape down a little bit more? Add another little segment. That'll. Okay. 
So now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to finish his other side of his body like this. Now what I want to do, now that I've finished his other side of his body, is I want to connect these two lines with a curved line. Boom. Curved line. Now I'm going to make his tail. His tail fin. So, for his tail fin, I'm going to come from here and I'm going to curve it around like this. And I'm going to come over to the other side. This, the other side, his, the left side, I make a little more up and curvy, but it doesn't really matter all that much. And then about the middle, because it comes in and kind of makes a, a V shape, I'm going to go like that and make start my V. And then I'm going to bring it out to the edge of my paper. I'm going to pretend to draw and come back on my paper. So that way I have an idea of where that would look, of what that would look like. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to pretend to draw. Now, to give it the same effect as his other fins, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this time with this more of the segmentation part first of the fin area, just because it's easier for me. And then go back and add the bumps. If you want to try it the other way, that's fine. This, to me, just works easier, obviously. You can change it a little bit as you need. So do that, and then I'm going to start, and I'm going to add. This time I'm going to add the bumps to fill in the lines. Like this, and then I'll go back and I'll erase this little part here. It's just easier for me to go back and do the, the erasing part like this than to try to draw that curved line bumpy. But that is that is a personal preference right there. That's just, it's easier to me to do it that way. If you want to try it the other way, try it the other way. See if that's easier for you. I'm going to go like this, finish off its tail. Turn it this way so you can see it. Add the bumps. Okay. And then I would go back and I would erase the extra lines. top part of that curved line that you drew. Okay, so I've got my fish. I'm almost done. I need to add the scales to the center part of his body. So coming down to his head, I'm going to make bumps. When I make scales, I make individual bumps like this, kind of like, almost like a letter N without the vertical part. Okay. Now, I want to show that they overlap and that they stagger. So this time, my next row, my bump is going to end more towards the middle of the one underneath it. Oh. Middle, 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 edge. Okay, do it again. Middle, middle, middle. Okay, and I would continue that all the way to finish filling in my fish. 
So that is how you draw, or one way that you can draw a koi fish. Come in here, show you his face, his fins, his body, and his tail. Body, his tail.